Hey guys, it's Rock Pika. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Fenty highlighter and gloss. So if you want to see that, keep watching. Okay, so let me just go over the two products, then we're going to get into the demo. So I bought the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Bombed All Over Diamond Veil. And this is the packaging for it. Packaging is super cute, super holiday, snowy, like super duper cute. And the Diamond Glow runs you $38. And then the Gloss Bomb, and you know, wait, hold on. Y'all already know, I already have my old one. Yes, honey. But this one is $18 also, both the same price, both same size. Okay, so I'm going to start about the Diamond Bomb highlighter before I get into the gloss because, I mean, it's a gloss. We get it. But um, this is in the color How Many Carrots Pure Platinum Sparkle. Sorry, I'm reading off of Sephora. But on the back of this, it says Super Fine 3D Sparkle for Face and Body, Insane Diamond Dusted Effect. And I swatched it in store and I put it on my mom because she wanted me to. And it did look very glittery. It's just, I think it's just like, um, Fenty's, wait, what is it? Trophy Wife Silver Sister. You know what I mean? Where is it? Because you guys remember how this looks. I'm going to compare them also in this video just so you can see the difference. But on Sephora, it says, See, Diamond Bomb features a unique jelly powder formula that's bouncy, Cool to the touch and melts into skin like butter. This highlighter is loaded with 100% pure brilliance to create an all, gr all glitz, no grit finish that easily decks out every skin tone. Plus, all this glittery goodness comes in a faceted jewel-like compact you'll never want to put down. And they said the diamond bomb all over Diamond Veil was inspired by the crystal dress Rihanna wore at the CFDA 2014. You can never have enough diamonds. This is the closest thing to bathing in it. The sparkle on this is just insane. Rihanna. Also, if you guys don't know, Fenty is cruelty free in case anybody's worried about that. So it is a hundred percent cruelty free. Wait, let's look up her dress that she crystal dressed CFDA 2014. Oh, it was inspired by this dress, guys. Hold on, you guys know this dress. Let me get it. I know you guys remember this dress. Hold on, let me get another picture. So this is what it was inspired by. Okay, so that's enough talk about the products. I already said the size. And then I'll go into sizes. This is 0.28 ounces. The highlighter and the gloss is 0.3 fluid ounces. So let's get into this highlighter. I'm excited. How many carrots? Mmm. Yeah, when he pulls out the ring. <laughs> but how many carrots, honey? And I just want to say for the packaging, this is all, it's coming off. This is all glitter. It's all glitter. See, it kind of comes off on my finger a little bit, but I love it. I know some people said they were complaining because it comes off, but I was like, who cares? Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, give me hexagon. Okay. Okay. And then on the back it says, how many carrots? Okay, let's open this together. Don't pay attention to my nails. Oh, she's blinding. Hold on. Shit, you guys can't even... Oh my god, you guys can't even see. Sorry for any sirens you hear in the background. There's a lot of um, cop cars around my school. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this mirror is amazing. Ooh. Wait, I wish you guys could see this. Come on. You know what? Let me turn my settings down maybe can you guys see it it's like literally white though okay i hope you guys could see it like that okay so that's the highlighter and then let's look at the gloss this is the gloss also a little white number okay so let's swatch each gloss next to each other let me clean off my hand if you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel and you don't know me that well, well, like, the Fenty Gloss is what I use every day. I think I've bought five of them, of the original one. So this is a difference. It's just one's rosy and one's clear. So this is the, um, what is this? Fenty Glow. 
on this side, on the right, and then this is Diamond Milk on the left. And now let's swatch the highlighters. You guys can obviously tell which one is which, but look at the shine, how many carrots it's giving. Like, what? Mm. Okay, y'all, I think I'm ready to swatch this on the face. Maybe I should bring you guys in a little closer. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this up with my... What the hell? With my Morphe M521 brush. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. Let me come in. Mmm. Oh, 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 I went a little too hard. I went too hard, y'all, but look at that. That is shine, honey. Oh. Okay, Re. Okay, let me put some of this in my inner corner also. I'm not wetting these brushes or anything because I just want to see how it does by itself. I feel like it's, oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's in the inner corner. Good. This is a very icy highlighter, as you guys can see. But, I mean, I went to this every day, but mm -mm, this is cute. I'm into this. And I like the way it applied. It probably could be blended on the edges more so it doesn't look like a strip, but it's cute. Like, it's like very glittery, but it's still like smooth. I love that. I'm sorry, I'm just like looking at myself in the viewfinder. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting on the Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. Wait, where's her? Oh, Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. See, I went to USC and got my college degree. Ooh. Okay. Mm, I don't know. The gloss looks kind of. I mean, it's giving me. Honestly, in the viewfinder, it makes my lips look more like ashy white than in real life. Because in real life, my lips just look like glossy. They just look popping. But in this viewfinder, like I can literally. See, it looks like white. I don't like that. But that's not how it looks in real life. In real life, this actually looks very just like melted in, glossy, just lips. Just like. Mm. Okay. So I guess that was my whole review and demo of these two products. Let me hold them up one more time. Ew. It already has smudge on it, of course. But I would honestly say buy it I mean I like how clear this is if you're going for a more clear look definitely get this gloss bomb but I mean I'm gonna keep it I love I love a Fenty gloss so sisters <laughs> sisters um but I do really like this product I like the lip gloss it's still moisturizing wait it's still the same formula let me smell yeah same smell same smell so it's like a tad bit different, but that could just be me psyching myself out. But the lip glosses, I love. I love that she's adding more shades. I hope she, add, I don't know what I want her to add in next, but I love it. And I also, I do actually love this highlighter. I didn't think I was going to like it at all, but like, look at that. But overall, I really think that the highlighter is really good. It looks uh, amazing. And I mean, look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that glow. Especially if it was like blended a little bit more. And even though it's like glittery, it's like smooth. Like she's right, it's glitz, not grit, honey. But yes, I love this. Um, honestly, I'll buy it. I would buy it. I'm telling you guys to buy it. I'll put the link to both products in the description box below. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, comment down below if you guys like this, the lip gloss and the highlighter. And tell me any other products you guys want me to review in, in the near future. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time I post. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys. Peace out Girl Scouts. Oh, this looks good.